Hello, it's Mike. Yesterday I did a video on some storage building finds. And I left this one out. It was in a different box in a different part of the building. So uh, when I got home with it, it was still in a different box. And I forgot about it. It's a Lightning McQueen. And I tried to roll the wheels and they just broke right off or tw the axle twisted in two rather so yeah these are the wheels from it oh let's see yeah lightning mcqueen wheels but anyway that was one of the items and the other one was this thing right here this is what's left of a larger scale hot wheel so yeah this is like it uh uh, like big air, big larger size. I'd like to have known what the rest of it was. It got, uh, I got it like you see it. The front long gone on it. But this is a Hot Wheel and it's got all this stuff in the back of it. Shovel and a broom and a floor jack and a motor sticking up. Or yeah, I guess... I don't know what that motor was like yet, right there, but anyway, I don't know what that thing is over there. That's probably a toolbox, and then I don't know what that's for, but it's some kind of some kind of uh, truck. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but and on the bottom of it, it is Mateo. 1998 i believe it is or it might be 99 or 96 looks like 99 ain't really sure but yeah it says right there hot wheels but yeah that's that one anyhow i've been working on some stuff today and let's get around here where you can see it i got this fixed Got the skids turned around, got some weight in it, and I blacked out the window because the interior, there was no interior anyway, so there's no need to see inside. So I blacked out the the, the windshield and everything. The other, cop, the other helicopter had a blacked out window in it from the factory anyway. So, But yeah, got the skid on there. I put some rocks in there and JB welded them together and JB welded all of it together there so it would uh, have weight in the front like it needed to be so it wouldn't tip back. Excuse me. Uh, I'm moving around because uh, I danced around there because uh, my foot hit something down here on the ground. I'll show y'all. Got this brick thing around this thing and... uh my feet run into it there and i it's kind of shook me because i was about to fall over almost all right anyway up next y'all remember this uh chevy had the front wheels broke on it well i put this set of wheels on it got her fixed up let's see if i can uh zero in on it a little bit better there i think i went the wrong way though i wanted to get a good view of it for y'all there it is. A little bit better wheels on it now than was on it. So, yeah. That's that one. And the last one. Y'all remember seeing these wheels on something that I got from uh, Red Room Diecast? Think about it a minute. What, what did I get from Red Room's Diecast that these wheels were on? Anybody remember? All right, since you don't remember, for those that don't, these wheels came off a, da a Monster Dairy Delivery. That's right. I took them off. And I put some more wheels on it. And I'm trying to be careful. There's an ant bed down here. I sure don't want to step in it. But anyway, I took these wheels off and put some better wheels on it. And here it is, dun, da, da, da. some rubber tires, 
and, and the wheels and these wheels and tires they came off of lego this is lego wheels and tires if you look right there that gray piece on the bottom in the middle there that's a piece of lego sure enough i jb welded it on here and we're gonna move around here where you see the back side of it and there's another piece of the lego yep yeah. jb welded it on there about 30 minutes ago so the jb weld ain't set up yet but she's a roller look at that rolls like a champ yeah sure enough there and like i said the jb weld ain't set up so i can adjust this because it will put the rear wheels there needs a little adjusted on it looks like that's because I had moved it a while ago, trying to get ready for this video. Excuse me, guys. But anyway, that's uh, a monster day delivery with Lego tires. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. I don't know what that was about. Let's see. I think, I think what it was saying was the battery's getting low. Anyhow... That's what the bottom of it looks like. And this thing got crooked on me because I've been messing with it. So I guess I'm going to have to get on out of here and fool with it and get this thing straightened out and let her set up and dry on me. Yep, getting out of whack now for sure. I guess I, that's what I get for trying to show it off before it's done. <laughs> oh, well, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun trying to get it back straight. But anyhow, that's uh, what I've been fooling with the last few hours. Nothing, nothing else happening. So figured I'd fool with this a little bit. Yeah. Anyhow, one last little deal here I'm going to look at. Oh, let's see. This, uh, one of these majorettes had a broke piece on it, so I fabricated two new pieces. I broke the other one on off, and I put two pieces in there on each side, right next to the wheel, two L channels, and I notched it out, and JB welded it back together, and it's sitting up and drying now. What it was is one of the spring holders was broke off so it was making it it was making the front of the truck set sideways and one of the back tires wasn't even sitting on the ground no more so once that sets up and dry it ought to be good to go yeah ought to be good to go but anyhow i'm gonna get on out of here just wanted to show y'all my little customized dairy delivery which i gotta do a little little more tuning on there in my custom Chevy and my chopper. Anyhow, I'll catch up with y'all later. It's Mike and I'm gone.